and Omar was a very good boy. He he helped with with the washing up and, and he looked after his his baby sister. But Norman was also a very bright boy. And he would see when when people would come and do something for her, uh, for his mother, she would pay him. Like the plumber would come and he would they will do something for his mother and they will give a bill to the, his mother and the mother then will pay the plumber for the work that was done. Now Norman began to think, why shouldn't I get paid too? I mean, I'm doing yes, things yay, for my mother at home. So he wrote a paper, something like this, and he, drew, and he gave this paper to his mother one morning at breakfast. And the paper said, Mother owes Norman for washing the dishes five times, 20 rand. Looking after baby sister, 60 rand. Going to the shop for mother, 20 rand. And being a good boy, 40 rand. Total, 100 and 40 rand. So uh, Norman's mother just looked at this note. She didn't even smile or say anything and she went on uh, eating her breakfast. Now later that day at supper Norman came and there as he came to the table he saw a note also for him and it says said Norman owes mother. Mother pro providing 10 years uh, a, a loving home for, for Norman cost him nothing. For 10 years mother provided food and clothes for Norman cost him nothing. Nursing for Norman through flu and headaches and when he felt very sick cost nothing and being good to Norman all these years and loving him so much will cost him nothing total is nothing and Norman felt so bad and and big tears started running down his cheeks and, and he and he went to his mother and, 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 and hugged her and, and said mom I love you and I'll do anything for you because I love you I don't want any pay for what I do for you so boys and girls if you are saved if you know Jesus Christ you must serve him because he loved you and, and, and you want to serve him and love him for what he has done for you. Not to of what you can get from him, but because you love him. But if you don't know Jesus Christ, if you are not saved, then, then Uncle Ronald wants you to think about what God has given you. What he, he has given you so much. He has given you a mother and a father. He has given you food. He has given you a place to stay. He has given you brothers and sisters. But most of all, God gave His Son Jesus Christ for you. So that you can be saved. So, so that you don't have to be separated from him forever and ever. Yes, Jesus gave himself so that you could be forgiven, so that you can have the gift, receive the gift of eternal life. And what does Jesus want from you? Do he wants payment? No, he, he doesn't want payment from, from you. Just like Norman's mother didn't ask for a payment, nor, nor like your mother, she will never ask for a payment, and Jesus Christ also won't ask for a payment. 
but he would ask you to open your hearts and, and invite him in and say, Jesus, I want you to be my God. If Uncle Ronald should come and visit you, I will come and maybe knock on your door and, and, you, and when you open the door, you would say, oh, it's Uncle Ronald, please come in. I hope so. I hope so. And, but, and this is what Jesus is asking, because if you say to Uncle Ronald, come in, then Uncle Ronald uh, walks into the house. And this is what Jesus is saying. He's saying, I'm standing at the door of your heart and I'm knocking. And if you open the door and you say, oh, it is Jesus, then let him come in. Because he said, he gave the promise. If you open your heart, he will come in. And then, because you're now then a child of Jesus Christ, just like Norman was, was grateful for what his mother did for him without asking any payment, so you should now then also be grateful for Jesus Christ for what he has done for you. Because he has given his life, he's all for you. And now, because you love Him, because you follow Jesus Christ, you must also give your all to Jesus.